Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here with IRAC Veteran 8888. All right, I've got something ridiculously cool to show you that I witnessed the other night. We were out here hanging out, doing some uh, glassing around for pigs. I've got my buddy Oscar here with GRS rifle stocks hanging out. We're in South Georgia, been doing some hunting. And our neighbor over here, Mr. Newberry, has a whole bunch of freaking hogs in his field. And he gave us permission to go over here and glass around. And we did some glassing around, didn't we? we? Did. Yes, we did. <laughs> Certainly did. Yeah. We, we've got an amazing shot to show you, but I feel like we really have to break this down and explain what happened. Uh, because, dude, I can't believe the shot you made on this hog. That was a pretty epic shot. It was an epic <laughs> shot. I mean, now, you know, Oscar here is a former sniper from Norway, so he's definitely delivering the goods in the shooting department. But there's a lot of things that have to happen to make these shots, especially at night. Yep. Let's talk about your rig, man. Yeah. And kind of you know break down how we put the shot together for you. Yeah, sure. Um, just um, sh um, quick, uh, we were here in March as well, and we did some some shooting there for for pigs as well, and we did some. Um, we learned a lot to put it that way. Sure. So what we did for this uh, thing is uh, we changed from the 6.5 Creedmoor to the 6.5 PRC, just that extra power level. That's 200 feet per second more. Uh, so it gets to the to the animals quicker, um, and especially at long range, you don't want them to move too much before they they're hit, right? Um, what we're using here is the uh, Giras Fenris. You can see that on girasrappers.com. Um, uh, it has all the adjustments you need. It's a, there's a cheek riser, there's a length of pull, all that kind of stuff. So it kind of it takes all the play out of the shooting position. So when you when you cradle that rifle, it fits you. So you're immediately in the crosshair. So it makes you shoot fast. What we're using as well is the Savage 10 uh, uh, Tactical Carbon in 6.5 PRC in 1 and 8 twists. So what we're using is the Hornady Match Ammunition in 147 grains, which is so dead accurate. So we've seen that time and time again. That projectile is awesome. The optics we're using is the Element Titan 3 to 18 by 50. Uh, the reason I'm using the 3 to 18 by 50 is when you use rigs like this, the, uh, this is the uh, Hick Micro. Uh, TQ50 to Thunder, um, and th the reason you want to use a, a optic with a lower magnification is that with, with a 5 to 25, even at 10x, um, the reticle is, is pretty small. But with these ones, you're all you're halfway over the the scale kind of on the magnification, so the reticle is bigger, so you can actually engage and see and adjust for wind and all that kind of stuff. So that just makes sense. Um, and with this system here, uh, it's a uh, I believe it's a 1080 um, resolution in it, and it's just mag magnificent. So we were checking it out uh, at the deer at 488 as well, and you can see the deer even at 18 magnification. Yeah, and I was really blown away at how crisp the images on this yes. thing looks, and this records video, yep. which is great. That really helps us out. We're wearing a KG made uh, R30 suppressor on this yep. particular gun, and even though this is a 30 cal suppressor, with the 6.5, it sounded great. It's so, so I heard yeah. you shoot from across the property yes. the other day, and it, it just, it didn't sound like a gun at all. Nope. I mean, so that is impressive. Yeah. This rig is so awesome, and I really love it. So referencing back to what we did in March, I shot two hogs then at 3.30 and uh, 3.60. Uh, and with the 6.5 Creedmoor, it was, they dropped like a sack of potatoes. That was yeah. not a problem. But with this one, the 6.5 PRC at 622.8 yards, it's a pass-through. That, that's a lot of power. So our neighbor, you know, been having some problems with hogs, so we decided to, uh, you know, get in the Polaris, ride around, and check out his property. I've only been over there a couple of times, but I knew where the peanut field was, and, you know, the hogs have been decimating and rooting the peanuts. He told us where to go. Uh, so we just kind of went over there, started glassing around a little bit with some of the handheld thermals to kind of look, see if we could see anything. Uh, we did see a lot of deer, but uh, unfortunately can't shoot deer at night. But uh, we got out to the edge of the field, and sure enough, we, we, we knew by the heat signature that it was definitely a hog. Um, and, that, and that's also why it's very important to have a good thermal, Oscar. Yep, for sure. You know, because you need to be able to identify the animal properly. You do not want to shoot the wrong animal. That that not only makes us look bad as hunters, it's also illegal, yep. which is not good. But um, you know, if we say we're going hog hunting, we need to we need to make sure we can identify the animal yes. that we're trying to shoot. Definitely, and also a part of the set because 
with this thing here, it's no problem shooting anything out to like 300 yards. But when you start getting those extended ranges, you need to know how far you're, you're actually shooting. That's right. So pairing up with this system is, um, I'm using the Hick Micro GQ35L, which has laser range finder cap capabilities. So you need to know how far it is and measure again and again and again, because it's so easy as well to kind of miss what you're actually shooting at, yeah. at those kind of ranges. Yeah, there may be a stump or something sticking up yep. or something obscuring it and you're accidentally lasering something 100 feet yep. in front of it or something. So the kind of the procedure, what we did is um, we found, first of all, found a pig, set up the uh, rifle on the two tripods. Uh, we ra did the uh, laser range finding. Then I went over to my, um, my Kestrel to find a dope, uh, put that into the scope and then just started working up the shooting position. Dude, and here's the thing, like back in March, we were using a much more basic rig than this, and, yes. it, and it worked, don't get me wrong, it was effective. But the two tripod setup, I thought, man, you know, that might take a little bit longer to set up than we really want, but... It is so stable. It, it, it was simple to set up, and it gave you so much better stability. Yes. I mean, when you're shooting 650 yards during the day, it's hard. Yep. But at night, I mean, and against an animal that's moving, and yep. you've got a crosswind, you yep. had to read the wind a bit. Yes. I mean, dude, having that two tripod set up, it was worth it makes the extra that, time to yep, set up. It makes the major difference. So it's it's kind of the difference of scaring a pig and having a having a kill. That's right, you, dude. And you did a fantastic job. So you got set up, and really, by the time you got set up and behind the gun to the time you took the shot, I don't think it took you thirty seconds. Nope. You checked your kestrel. You got the dope. Yep. You knew the range. You dialed. You record. It took you longer to turn on the thermal, hit yes. record, settle in. Than it did to take. You, you probably had that pig on the ground within a minute of us seeing him. Yep. Maybe a minute and a half. It did not take long. But at uh, that ranges as well, they have no idea you're there. So there's, there, you have all the time in the world. That's right. Yep. It was it was fun. All right, so dude, that's probably one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen somebody do at night with a thermal. I mean, we've we've done some coyote hunting where we get, you know, 50, 75 yard shots, mm -hmm. you know, but dude, that was an impressive feat of shooting. Well done, dude. Thank you, sir. Well done. The only thing that we could do better in this is have our buddy Dustin down here to put us on more pigs. Run Dustin, to the Dustin, if you're listening. Run to the outdoors. Run to the outdoors, yep. our buddy Dustin. Next time we'll get Dustin down and we'll have a pig rich environment. Yes. But an impressive shot, dude. Thank you. I'm proud of you. You did a great job. And uh, thanks so much for hanging out with us, dude. Thank you, sir. It was Absolutely. a pleasure. All right. And don't forget, go check out GRS Rifle Stocks. Really great stocks. You know, uh, their company is helping pay for this trip. So obviously, you know, take care of our people. They're really good guys and their stocks are amazing. And uh, look, man, we got more on the way. It's, it's been such a great season. Over the last three, three or four days, we have been putting so many critters on the ground. We've got so much cool stuff to share with you, so many cool stories. I love filming hunting stuff. This has been so exciting. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hope you had a good one, and we'll see you soon.